One thing they are very good though, like these, this assault squad, like I would want to be a part of this. They really put thought into taking <laughs> care of their soldiers. Okay, terrible formation. Look how but, smooth. Whoo! Okay, so I don't gotta put a lot of stress, like jump. Yeah, like float. They got like float tech in their suits. Yeah. A climb this huge thing. And look at this. This is the key thing. Mm -hmm. Look how good that is. Look good in the knees. Ooh. Oh, that knees. You, this guy's gonna have a long career, and like knees aren't gonna be messed up. They're gonna be good yeah. until he's old age. Like heck yeah. Hell yeah. I mean, they're, like, they're, like the evil. they're evil. They're evil for sure. Evil. But like, they really do take care of the soldiers. Yeah. Being in the military is a physically, mentally demanding job. Yep. And here they're just like buttery smooth all the time. Buttery smooth. Yeah. Not a problem. They're not like I mean, banged they, up knees and hips getting into combat all injured. Like, no, no, no. Suits taking care of it. Yeah. So instead of getting to the top of the cliff on like a vibrate like helicopter or something, they just buttery smooth glide. up the cliff <laughs> not a problem super good they're evil okay I mean, but they're okay, super evil but like, not, not even not even just the ergonomics of the thing but also just the straight capability of this tech to like yeah. climb mountains rapidly not not just mountains like sheer cliff faces here and not even like like how would you get over this thing i mean rock climber people if you tell me how but it's like you'd have to climb inverted behind your back and like climb crest over this yeah. yeah i think in a modern military we would just send an aircraft with people in it and drop them off at the top yep here we don't need air support we don't need any aircraft to do that that's just incredible capability mm -hmm. get this tactical advantage just rapidly and, and escape any worms yeah because you're on rocks so you can escape the worm. you yep. can float above the sand so you're not you don't need to do any funny random walk thing you just sort of boop, 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 boop. Ha. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why are they going down the sand dune when they could just float across it? Float across it. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. But for the ergonomics, okay. super good. Super good. In fact, imagine if we had this tech today for oh my gosh. somebody who lost his legs or elderly people just floating yeah. along. Yeah. They'd be more capable than regular people with legs. Like, like outside of combat, you're talking about just regular civilian yeah. life. Like yeah. you don't have, if you, you're missing a leg, I don't know, you lost it somehow, whatever, it's not my business. But then you can just go upstairs and like, mm, I'm here, yeah. I'm at the top, not a problem. Yeah. You just Heck float yeah. right up the stairs, yeah. And or even elder, elderly people with struggling with mobility, just floating around, not a problem. I mean, I mean, if you're <laughs> at a building, you have, if you're in a wheelchair, then you have like the ADA compliant compliant ramp, right? But then yeah. how do you do hiking with, with float tech? You can hike on anywhere you want. Sure. Oh, that's right. You can join your friends for a hike. Just float on by them. Yeah, so this them. would revolutionize the ski lift industry. No ski lifts anymore. No Free. ski lifts anymore. Free. Yeah. You just float up there. Float up there. This tech might be overpowered. The more than I think about it, there might even be more consequences. That's right. You make big ones of these. You strap them to ships. Now your ships can fly. You got spaceships. That's right.